Hello again, dear students. We are here for talking about an important things in this chapter with the inverse of matrix. Then later, when you get the information, you got the information about the inverse. Then later, you can find or solve matrix equation. So we have an equation with the matrix. Okay. So for that purpose, the inverse matrix is very important. First of all, we are going to start with the identity matrix. If I say I2, means that I2 by 2. Means that 2 by 2 identity matrix. Identity matrix is the diagonal. Here's the main diagonal is R, R1. And the second diagonals are zeros. So when I say I4, means that I have I4 by 4. Which these are the diagonal R. 1 and the rest of the elements are zeros like that okay that's the when i say i3 i know i mean 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 like that so here's about the identity for finding the inverse before finding the inverse also we, we should know about if i multiply two matrix together and i got i so means that A and B are inverse to each other. So for example, you can see example one in page 117. If I say, uh, example two, I mean, this one's easy. If we multiply any matrix with identity, I will get the same without doing multiplication. Just say I by any matrix, you'll get the same. Any matrix by I will get the same. But what I mean here is the inverse. If we multiply any matrix with the inverse, I will directly get what? I will directly get the identity, even the inverse by the i. For example, i is equal to 2, 1, 5, 3, and b equal to 3 minus 1, minus 5, 2. If I ask you if the, uh, a and b are a and b are the inverse to each other or not I don't know we should multiply then the result the result will tell you is the, the, the uh, two matrix are inverse or no you can see the multiplication I don't do it because in 1.4 we did a lot so here we when we multiply these I'll get what I'll get the identity I2 so means that a and b are the inverse to each other now for finding a inverse we have two things if a is 2 by 2 it's easy if a is 3 by 3 or more so it ne need more work okay maybe there's a lot of methods for finding uh, inverse of 3 by 3 or more matrix but here the a 2 by 2 is easy for example when you have a2 we have a is equal to a b as mentioned in your lecture cd when I find A inverse is easy, just go like that, okay? Say inverse is equal to such number like that, 1 over main diagonal AD minus the second diagonal, PC, okay? Then, then what? Then change this one, swap between the main diagonal and multiply minus to the second diagonal. So that will give you the formula for finding what for finding the inverse of matrix okay do not forget about this formula for example if a is equal to 4 5 2 3 so i say find a inverse easy you can say is equal to a inverse equal to look at here one i say main diagonal so i say 4 by 3 minus usual 2 by 5 okay what else and I'm going to change this how we swap here okay what else minus to the second diagonal now you will get the result 1 over 12 minus 10 was equal to what 1 over 2 multiply 3 minus 5 minus 2 4 and you know the result will be 3 over 2 minus 5 over 2 minus 1 and 2 that's the A inverse if you have time to surely that you are you are you are do you did well you can multiply a by a inverse and you can see you get the identity but you don't need that if you follow the instruction you see it's easy and you get the result like that that's about the inverse of what 
of three, two by two. Okay. How about finding the inverse of n by n? I'm going to something else which is not in your lecture note because really you can find a inverse for n by n when n by n square we say n by n or a n sometimes you write like that why because we mean n by n square matrix we, re we recall this one as a square if they are equal for the square matrix a and b n where n is three and go on there's a, a lot of methods for finding one of them mention it in your lecture no which using using gauss elimination or gauss jordan together you have this matrix you have the matrix okay here and you cannot you, you have an uh, you will put an identity matrix here then you try to use the gauss together now we have what we have one two three or three by three will change to what after adding after adding identity i3 i have one two three one two three four five six so i have a three by six i will change we will try to solve this six uh, three by six matrix how as you know we will try to make this one one and zero zero and one zero then later we try to change this one to one here it is then this matrix okay we try to use the gauss jordan here zero okay try again to this one to change to zero you get zero then later here we should be zero now this matrix should be changed to the gauss jordan so you use the gauss jordan then this remains that one will be a inverse that's the first method which i am not recommending you to use it why because as usual you know gauss jordan need more work gauss jordan need more work sometimes the inverse they are not exist so before we are going to finding uh, checking the, in, the inverse as exist or not i'm going to use another method here's the first method for finding inverse now we are going to the second method which is finding the inverse of matrix by another way when i say matrix i mean n by n or three by three for example okay because the easier was not in your lecture note please try to watch the video nicely and again and again to get the result before i uh, give you another the second method here i will uh, pose Pause this one till 1.6 when I finished 1.6 I'll back right down quickly to the A33 to solving or like an extra uh, lecture to solving A33 by another method why why I post it to here because you need some concepts like a determinant and something else to understand how to find the determinant and cofactor and coefficient then later you can uh, solve a uh, use another method for solving uh, a three three mat uh, inverse matrix or to find an inverse matrix. Sometimes when you solve the matrix by any way, you can see there is no result. You also I will give you the note uh, in one point six how to how to find this matrix has not uh, inverse without or have no inverse without uh, using uh, that method i'll give you this uh, note again so we have in 1.6 we have two notes uh, we shouldn't forget about the first a finding a inverse then later uh, finding uh, the or checking the matrix has inverse or not so what do you mean by matrix equation that's another subject that we have do not forget about the matrix should be you should know about the inverse of matrix if i have the matrix in equation it means that ax is equal to b where a and b are what when a b and are uh, the matrix and also a should be n by n matrix all right okay here should be uh, one by n matrix or n by one matrix and here you know n by any uh, n by one matrix this is the rule how we find this one 
how 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 we solve that one i'm going to give you this matrix i'll give you this system for example at the exam and i say solve by matrix equation so when i say solve by matrix equation you should use this method here's the example we have the system we have the system of equation you know in the equation so i say what matrix equation so here you are you will use the a to be the matrix of equation how without the result so we have what without the result we say is equal to 1 minus 2 4 you can see 2 3 6 minus 3 6 15 then this a so a will be 1 minus 2 minus 4 2 minus 3 minus 6 sorry minus 3 6 and 15 here's we have what 3 by 3 matrix this is a then x should be without thinking about you have x y z okay and the result you said b equal to that column so you have 7 5 0 okay dear now to find in such equation like that this one is known number this is all known how you find the x and y z we say x is equal to what if you multiply a inverse to both sides if you multiply inverse of to both sides we get what identity so it means that x is equal to a inverse b do not write b a inverse please because you know a inverse b is not equal to b a inverse so write like that a inverse to both the side we have uh, the such equation now if you know if you you have a you have b and you know from a how to find a inverse then you will get the solution this one is called matrix equation okay dear matrix equation here you can see there's an example three by three then the there's a there's a inverse you found the a inverse as in the example four previously and i'll give you more trick about to how to find the inverse in 1.6 later then we say x is equal to a inverse b we multiply this result we get the solution of x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 23 and z is equal to 7 that's the equation so now this one for more for getting more information i know you didn't get 100 um, percent uh, so i'll give you uh, such example with uh, we have the system 2x minus 5y is equal to 15 3x minus 6y is equal to 36 so solve by matrix equation that's your question so how we solve this one first of all i say a equal to 2 minus 5 3 minus 6 okay so x is equal to what x will be equal to x and y just so b equal to what 15 and 36 that's the our b and i say that x is equal to what a inverse b so a inverse how you find a inverse i told you a inverse is equal to 2 multiply minus 6 minus of the rule 3 multiply minus 5 okay and we swap this one we say minus 6 2 and we multiply minus 2 here and minus 2 there we will get 3 so it's easy to if i give you the uh, system of 2 by 2 how to find by the matrix because you know already about the inverse of a so the result will be what it will be 2 12 and plus 15 is equal to 3 so 1 over 3 multiply here i can see is equal to what a inverse is equal to uh, you don't need to do, uh, multiply so i'll get 1 over 3 why we don't need because you'll get more uh, number i'll get multi if i say three you will get minus two i will get one two over three five over three that's the inverse okay dear that's the inverse now x is equal to this means the x y 
A inverse this matrix multiply B is equal to 15 36 and you know how to multiply this one we have 2 by 2 we have 2 by 1 so it means that we, we will get 2 by 1 so X is equal to 2 by 1 how I say this one by that one so I'll get minus 13 okay plus 5 over 3 multiply 36 okay now 1 by 15 plus 2 over 3 multi 36 so you can see is equal to 12 and you can see is equal to 12 the result will be x is equal to what so you say x is equal to what x is equal to minus 13 plus 16 right 15 plus 24 okay so which means that this one x is equal to 13 and this one is equal to uh, I did a mistake I think we should multiply here by minus sorry for that minus here so minus 2 here so I'll get minus 1 so I'll get minus 1 here and I'll get minus 15 so it means that minus 15 plus 24 is equal to what? equal to 9 that's the result so it means that x <coughs> y equal to 13 9 x is equal to 13 and y is equal to 9 that's the solution sorry for that mistake i forget minus really you shouldn't forget careful because when we swap it here you should multiply minus to here right we swap it so i'll get what we swapped here and we put minus 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 5 i'll get 5 minus minus 3 uh, sorry minus plus multiply 3 i'll get minus 3 and go on that's the that was the mistake so try to solve the equation especially try to solve 25 and forget about the modeling forget about the page 123 please do not solve example 7 you can just read it then later you can find the exercise you will see it's easy for you if you watch the uh, video one or more uh, I hope you are trying to solve the, most of the exercise and you will see it's easy. Have a nice time and uh, see you in the next session.